New information tonight on the investigation into the disappearance of Chula Vista mother Maya Miliete. That mother of three vanished without a trace a little more than three months ago. And today Chula Vista police revealed new information. Detectives say NCIS has now joined in on the search to try to find her. They also confirmed they are investigating some loud bangs that were heard on surveillance the night that she was last seen to investigate whether they were gunshots. Now in the past 14 days, they've interviewed eight more people. They've also served an additional four search warrants. And as the department continues to investigate tips and comb through the evidence, her family is not giving up hope in finding her. Fox 5's Jeff McAdamy joins us live from Chula Vista Police Headquarters with where that family is searching now. Jeff, good afternoon. Hi, Maria. Yeah, well, Maria's, uh, Maya's family, I should say, uh, was on the Dr. Phil show last week. This has just become such a big story nationally that investigators are now promising updates every two weeks. Today, Maya's family, they're taking their search out of the county up in the Northeast. With a shovel and hiking poles in hand, the latest search party to find Maya Miette gets started Wednesday. Anza Borrego, California. Okay. And yes. Out in the desert. In the desert. Maya's sister and brother-in-law say she loved to hit the trails out here in her Jeep. So when somebody from the off-roading community called them with a tip this week, they listened. No, just a random, you know, good-hearted person that's like, hey, I want to help you guys. This is what I did. I, I, I was driving by, smelled some decaying. We're just checking it out, man. Right. Like we said before, we're not leaving any stone unturned and we're trying everything. I mean... <laughs> It might, it's probably nothing, but at least it's not in the back of her head like, dang, we should have, you know, maybe checked that. The Chula Vista mom went missing from her home she shared with her husband and three kids back on January 7th. Credit cards and phone unused, car left in the driveway. She essentially vanished without a trace. This is one of the more than two dozen searches the family has now done on their own with the help of the community. They say police rarely stay in touch. Detectives, not wanting to compromise the investigation, are staying tight-lipped. Word coming down Wednesday of an update in the investigation with NCIS now joining in. Earlier this month, the FBI and the district attorney announced they were getting involved. Detectives say 55 people have been interviewed and 16 search warrants have now been issued for things like homes, cars, cell phones, call records, and bank statements. Detectives also confirming they searched the home of a relative of Maya's husband. Yeah, it was very surprising. Uh, we didn't expect that at all. So I, I don't know what they were looking for or what they got or what they took. They must have gotten some kind of clue or a lead. Yeah, and so police have said that they have now uh, issued 16 search warrants. Uh, we have been down over the past week or two. Me personally, I was down there just earlier this week to try to look through the warrant catalogs that they have at the courts. I've, I've found a few of them, tried asking the clerk to pull the record, see if we could get an idea what they were looking for in those search warrants. And police have been very good to make sure they are sealed so nobody can get into those files to look at them. If that were to change, if we get any new information on this investigation that might be helpful for the public to know, we'll certainly keep you up to date here on Fox 5. From Chula Vista, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. We appreciate your good reporting, Jeff. Thank you so much.